Hello, I've just received a package this morning. I won't show my address on it. Um, this might be interesting to somebody possibly in the UK or Germany or maybe other countries because I've bought this just in case it might be a viable alternative for the oil filter filament on the flatheads. Sorry for the clumsy one-handed opening. Yeah, I have got a tripod. Oil filter. Febby Bilstein. Germany. Made in Germany. I'm hoping it might be the same as the ones on the flatheads. Hang on a minute, I'll get my little tripod. Well that seal is like a round o-ring. Not sure how well that will work. There's the filter. Got the grommets there, look. Got a metal piece at the middle. Do you reckon they're all supposed to go in from the outside or out from the inside? Well that looks like it doesn't it? Some things there as well. This is specifically for um, a Mercedes-Benz application. <coughs> so there's the part number. I got this on eBay. It was eight pounds something delivered. The last ones I bought were from Rock Auto and you know with the shipping and everything they were quite expensive. It doesn't look to be particularly a big gap there but there is a gap because I'll just put it I put my mouth on it and kind of breathe that through it oh yeah 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 if you blow down the end there and put your finger on there it, it passes quite freely so although the gaps there are very small it um, it will pass fluid okay right I will um, well, there we are. That's an O-ring, thick O-ring, that is. I don't know if that will do the job. I suspect it won't. But I would... I've had a problem using the seals that come with the filters from Rock Auto anyway. Using the... yeah. So I would imagine I will just reuse the uh, seal that's already in the lid. Okay, right. So there's the filter. There's the thing that comes with it. It looks to be good quality. It's not, um, you know, I don't know where it's actually made, but it... Uh, you know, it's marketed by a German company. And Bilstein is a well-known brand. I, I will replace the oil filter in the sedan because the oil filter in the sedan ha had that problem with the rear bearing. So it's probably got quite a lot of contaminants in it. So it would be a good idea to change it anyway. Okay, I'll uh, bring you back when, I, when I've fitted it. Although I'm not actually running the filter at the moment, but I'll bring you back when I've fitted it, just to make sure it physically fits. Okay, back in a bit. Hello, I've just took the... Um, <coughs> I've just took the lid off. There's the bolt. Bit weird that. It, 
a 13 16 wouldn't go on it a 7 8 seemed too loose but I did just happen to have a 21 mil socket so I used that on it seems a bit weird though oh I wonder if it's because it's French yeah maybe it's because it's French anyway hey ho there's the oil filter that I've just lifted out uh, it's still kind of dripping a bit I've got another one over there I'll just show you this is one that I had on the car it's the same as the one that's in the car and what, what you can see it's the same height and the same diameter and the same diameter in the middle I'm going to go and see if this fits on fits in rather That's gone on there with a little bit of resistance, so that's good. Yeah, that's that's an exact fit. Perfect. Now, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to try and use the O-ring. I'm going to reuse this flat rubber seal that's in here because I think if you try and use the O-ring, it doesn't seal. Yeah, this is a flat rubber seal. I think if you use the o-ring you'd need you'd need like a more clearly defined groove for it to to sit in interesting that this top of this piece has concentric rings on it I've got no way of pressurizing this thing at the moment but this was the seal that was in it mm. I think it, I think this might be damaged yeah, I'm not too happy about that. I'm not too happy about that because what I've just noticed is there's a split. These are the gaskets that came with the other filters. And can you see that this runs off there? I don't know if the camera can pick it up. Yeah, can you see it there where it ran off? And then back on. So what I suspect is that this wasn't fitted properly when I tried to use it last time. But there is another one here. So let's see about this. I think you have to be particularly careful about how you make sure you, that you've got it bedded down well. I think that might be okay. I'll try that. Like I say, I'll have to actually test it at some time later so this video whole video might have to wait until uh, I can put the other motor in and test it I don't know what the torque is on this Just do it like that and see how it gets on. Like I say, it might be a while before I'm able to test it. But physically, height, diameter, diameter of the inside, and physical construction, it does look like a good substitute. This is what used on the Mercedes Benz cars in the early 60s, you know, what they call the heck floss or the fin tail. So there is a reasonable availability and I think they're used on a lot of um, trucks as well. There's, there's list upon list upon list of cross, cross references for different part numbers. So, but if that is, if that proves serviceable, other than the fact that the O-ring isn't really a great thing for this application, um, for less than a tenner, 
that's a good substitute for people that don't live in America. I'll, sh I'll show you the part number again. And it's Ferdinand Bilstein, look, Febby, Ferdinand Bilstein. And it feels, you know, the box feels like good quality, the filter feels like good quality, it all feels like good quality. Proper German stuff. Okay. Right, so I'll leave it at that for now. And when I am able to put this under pressure, I'll report back and see how it goes. I'm annoyed about that gasket being split. Anyway, hey ho. Hello. Um, I received this um, piece of nitrile rubber this morning. It's 450 by 600 millimeters and I've divided up into 125 millimeter squares and that that was my kind of test piece so I'm going to cut this into squares now and hopefully I should be able to get 12 gaskets out of this here's the lid of the oil canister here are the gaskets that you get with the um, Luba finer ones that I got from Rock Auto. I mean, these might be okay, but the, the French ones were rubber. Now, this is one that one that I've made from that piece that I cut from the corner of the sheet, and that goes in there. It's a little bit not very good there, and I had to cut kind of trim that, but the idea is there. And it, 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 it does fit. I'll show you the setup. Here's the lathe. And this is um, actually um, a face plate that, um, that I bought when I, I was messing about with my other lathe. In here is a, a blade from a craft knife. Um, it's a little bit blunt because I did wind it into the cast iron, but touch wood, I don't think that's a problem. I'll show you the setup anyway. I'll get set up and I'll show you the setup and I'll show you the first. I'll show you a couple being cut or one or two being cut. Okay, I'll get set up with a camera. This is a Ford water pump pulley. And what I've done, I've kind of centered that on the square. So I'm going to put this here now. A little bit of guesswork involved. Okay. This is the first one I've done, you know, trying to repeat what I did with a lot more time setting up before. I tried to cut it out with scissors, it was okay, but not brilliant. You can't quite see the centre, I've got the centre in the end of that um, thing there now. It's one of these jobs where you could do with three hands. Okay. Right, I think I'm going to give it a go. I hope I've got my numbers right. These squares are 125 mil, and I'm, the diameter is 121. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to run the lathe quite fast.
How about that? How about that? It's good, isn't it? Well, we'll take that one off then and have a look, see how it fits. Here's the lid. Here's my gasket. So there's the gasket and the lid. And if you go around, just settle it in place like that. It's best to just kind of get, try and get the inner edge in first. Like that. I've made it so it's slightly tight. Because um, I don't want it falling out when you're trying to fit the lid. It might be that my lid's slightly a bit dented in there, could be. But that is really nice. So there you are, that's it. I'm quite happy with that. I might um, go ten thou bigger on the inner diameter. I think that's okay though. That's pretty neat really. I'll just go and fit it on the on the car. So here's my German made filter. There's my gasket. Oh, <laughs> it has popped out. Might be worth putting a bit of grease around the base there to kind of hold it in place. So that goes like that. So there we are, nice, neat, there we go, nice, I mean I, I'm looking, I don't know if the camera can see it, a nice sort of contact witness mark from the from this surface yeah that looks all right I'm using the lights of the camera to help me I think that's going to be okay I think that'll be good actually okay right on obviously subject to uh, testing Okay, I'll go and make some more now. Okay, so I've made two, and there's ten more blanks there. So I've got twelve blanks out of a sheet. So that's not bad, really, is it? Okay, I hope you found that interesting, and um, I will update this when there is uh, I'm able to run that canister under pressure. So here we have 11 gaskets, all good, and 12 drinks coasters, <laughs> or potentially, you know, fuel pump lid gaskets or something like that. So there we are, 11 gaskets. I mean, it's very wasteful actually making gaskets, you know, that takes a lot of material to make that, just that one gasket. You can't, unless you can kind of come up with other, other ones that need the same material and you can use those to do them. Okay, I hope you found that interesting. 
Um, it's a good setup. Anyway, there's my face. Oh, there's my face plate with the marks on it. Right, Al. Thank you very much for joining me in the garage. Um, I will decide what I'm going to do with this. I might see if I, I can sell a few. I've got, there's got to be other people that need these gaskets for the Ford filters. I'm not talking about sending them internationally. I'm talking about just selling them to friends here in the UK. Okay, right. So I hope you found that useful. And it was a, a technique I'd never used before, so that was interesting for me as well. Righto, take care. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.